Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Saturday, June the 4th. It's, uh, it's about quarter after 10, and it is 77 degrees already. It is going to be a barn burner. Wish me luck on this one. I'll be doing this for a while. Look, even Kelly's flower pots are invaded by all the, all the jungleness. So first things first, get in here and grab some stuff, and get the mowers out, tires aired up, that old tractor always weeps air out of the tires. Alright, we're off and running. So here we are at 90 degrees, anyway it's 1 o'clock now, so for two hours, but in all fairness, I was working on the weed eater and doing some other stuff. but. In two hours, all I've done is trimmed around the edges where the railroad ties and stuff are, and then just took the push mower and got into some of the little tight spots that are hard to hard to get to. And the little woman's out here making it so you can walk underneath this the vines of this tree. Is it hot enough there for you, Mama? <laughs> so. My next quest is to, I've uh, already gassed it up, I need to air up tires on the riding lawnmower, fire that up, do the driveway that's supposed to be all gravel. But Sophie, she's just as happy as can be. Look how slender she's gotten. She gets so fit in the summertime because she just never stops going. You're just a wild child, aren't you? Should have seen it earlier, Kelly's digging. <laughs> Kelly's digging weeds out and she's throwing it in that thick grass so the mower will just suck it up and vacuum it up. But the grass is taller than Sophie is and she's just hopping like a deer. Doom, 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 doom. And what she does is any dirt that's left on the weed, on the root, she takes the grass and goes <laughs> until all the dirt's gone out of it. She just loves doing that. You're one silly girl, huh? You love, love, love when we do lawn work. It's her favorite thing. Woman, that looks good, but you made yourself one hell of a mess. Yeah. Go <laughs> Alright, let me go get the mower going. Okay, two hours later, it's now three o'clock. You can see the backyard has not been touched. It took two hours to mow that little thing out front and to mow the front yard. Two hours. Twelve full dual buckets of grass. Based on this taking a couple hours, the backyard would probably be three hours. But I don't know what the temperature is, but I've had enough. Oh, Abby almost got that butterfly. I've had enough. It is about 94 out here. Dang. Well, it's been about an hour and a half later. It's 4.30 now. It made it up to to 96, and it's kind of bouncing 96, 97. But it's back down to, to 94. Actually, the digital one says 95. And I'm starting, as you can see the sun going down, I'm starting to get some shade casting my way. So, I'm going to venture out here and... I'm just gonna go. I, I got like too hot. I went in the house and uh, and I'm like, whoa. Um, I pushed that too far. You know, wrestling when them things when them buckets get full, each one of them things probably weighs 40 pounds or better. And heaving them over the and when you <laughs> when you get in this thick grass, that grass is damp, so it's it's freaking heavy. See, so, you know, I was in the heat and blasting away there and my heart was racing I measured my my heart rate and I thought um better take a break so I took an hour and a half break so it's still hotter than Hades out here and uh I'm well hydrated so I'm gonna start back at it again it's amazing because that that's heat not because most of the time you're sitting on it so, you know, when you're dumping the buckets every once in a while, how your heartbeat gets racing. 
that's dangerous. You've you've been exposed to the heat too much. But anyway, we're gonna take it easy. I want to try to get this thing done tonight. Because believe it or not, <laughs> I gotta go get another hard drive. Holy crap! The people at Staples and the people at Walmart's just they they gotta know me by name by now. I go in there buying more hard drives. They gotta be wondering what the hell I'm doing. I'd like to take a ride and go to Shahala. So I was gonna take the DR because it has like no wind protection, and I don't want any wind protection. Oh Jesus! Let's have a Hornet spray bottle explode in the sun. That wouldn't be good. Holy crap! That thing is crazy hot. In the Northwest, in the summertime, you better have that around. And this uh, Spectracide or whatever the hell it's called there, we found that is absolutely the best one that we found so far. Absolute instant death. If it hits them, they drop dead. Ten hours after I started this video this morning, the lawn is done. I have a total of eight and a half hours invested in mowing the front and rear lawn. And the trimming and cleaning some stuff up. Crazy. 28 full dual bucket loads of, of grass. And my, my girls have hung with me most of the time. Until I get too close to them. Madison's really scared of them. Abby, if I get too close, she just bails out. But these three are always together. They love each other. And this is two from her very last litter. Her last litter was with Milo, our shepherd Siberian husky mix. And uh, I think that was just her last. I think she reached that point in life that she she gets in heat but nobody seems to be interested in her <laughs> I guess that's not true she's I, yeah I guess but look at me is that nasty or what Leo out there crashed out in this nice fresh lawn to lay in and look at him he's all been Kelly spent a bunch of time taking the last of the nasty fur off of him look how clean he looks you look so pretty. Ah, Leo. <laughs> mama as in you or mama as in mama dog? Oh. Yeah, it's been a hot one. Crazy, crazy hot one. I'm not even going to bother trying to wash any of this crap off. I'm just going to jump in the damn shower. I have to burn these clothes. Oh, what's the temperature now? 80. 84. 84. That's a whole lot better than what it was. Yeah. It is eight minutes till eight right now. I see him. I see him, buddy. Yeah. I know. Mom is staying. I'm, not, I'm the only one going. For some reason, she's the one that does everything for him, but he gets more excited to see me. I have no idea why. But anyway, it's uh well probably about five minutes to eight now, so our our daily vlog is going to be a little late tonight. I'm uh, taking off. So uh, just to clear a couple things up, I keep getting asked about the gloves and the coat. This is a really really thin, so you can see right through it. It's made out of that like heat out gear that wicking material that pulls sweat or whatever away from you and cools you and oddly enough it works kind of keeps you warm at night too but it keeps the sun off of me and it breathes enough and then that wicking effect even though it's not a tight fit it actually keeps me cool it actually I feel cooler with it on than without it on the sun beaming on my bare arms and the reason I can wear gloves in 100 plus degree weather is I can just pick my hands up and air flows right in the scoops. So when my hand gets hot, I just lift my fingers up and it just scoops air in. So neither one of these things make me hot. 
standing here right now makes me hot. Moving, I'm perfectly fine. Yeah, she just full on about pranked the hell out of me. Still scared me even though she didn't <laughs> succeed. She comes sneaking around the corner and I'm coming out of the shop here. About jumped out of my damn skin. Well, woman, I'm gonna run off. Oh, I will see you here in about an hour. Oh, God. Probably, probably hour and a half, realistically. Yeah. Because I'll probably take back roads coming and going. At least I, at least I get bored and I just bail down the freeway coming back. All right, I'm gonna jump on my hog and fly, woman. So I gave her a quick little, little touch up. <clears throat> you guys seen all the bugs last time? woman I'm off in a spray of hen poop and high hoof silver is everything zipped up back there yep. all right I'll, I'll see you here in just a little bit okay. all right you. love you too bye bye well I'm in Chehalis and I've gone in and purchased my hard drive man look at the beautiful colors in the sky isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah, that's some beautiful skies. Ain't that pretty? Nine oh five. We are definitely after sunset. So what I think I'm going to do here, just because of the time and whatnot. Me a heck of a lot longer in Walmart than I thought it was. Plus, I sat outside in the parking lot finishing up a, a modal vlog. Man, that light is gorgeous. I love how it, it can carry on and pick up and bounce off of clouds that are on the other side of the sun. You know, the sun sets behind me, but it picks it up, you know, the opposite direction. It's beautiful. I hit the old dreaded freeway. <laughs> What's that guy park, barking at me? Always makes me look to see if bags are open. never know when someone just suddenly honks. Jeez, it's still, still in the freaking 80s. Oh, what a perfect evening to ride, though. So comfortable out. Hey, there's an old, uh, an old touring hardy, an old, old Electra. So I've been bombing down uh, the freeway here, and I've even gained elevation. I'm in Woodlock now, and uh, man, it's still, excuse me, <laughs> sorry, it's still 82 degrees. It feels bad freaking fantastic out here. It is so nice. When you come to a stop, it's actually just warm out. It's crazy. Oh, look at St. Helens being real ghostly hiding back there. It's weird you can still see her. I know you can't, but... Wow, that's creepy. My old Texaco station that I frequent so much. Alright, let's fill this sucker up. Ooh, look at the bugs I got on my shield. Oh, uh, snap, and you guys look right through all that, too. I see you just poof, clearly over it. It was a hot one today. And I, uh, I spent too much time out in the heat at one point. I had the old... I, I just got to where I couldn't stand it no more. What's weird is when I got I, I think I just stayed out in the heat too too much because I came in, I sat down, 
I had a small drink. Yeah, I didn't want to just gulp down some water, although I wanted to. Then I had a couple of sips of water, and, and uh, <laughs> I'm in third gear, and it's like too too tall of a gear. It's like a wall, a wall. Anyway, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, damn, my heart's racing. I must have, I don't know. It's funny they close that thing down at, at fairly early. I think it closes at like eight or nine or something. I think it used to be up all hours of the night. This is kind of creepy. Coming down through here late at night. We'll ch chat with you guys here in just a few. If, if Kelly wakes up, if not, he might be just chit-chatting with me. Yeah, we'll see you. Thanks for uh, coming along for the short little pieces of rides that I showed in the video. Well, hello there, you two. <laughs> this is current day. In fact, this is probably a couple, three hours before you before you watching it. We uh, we fell out last night. <laughs> Oops. Kelly was Kelly was completely out when I walked in, and uh, I uploaded videos and. I didn't even look at the clock to see what time it was when I woke up in the desk chair. I just got up and said, you know what, I'll deal with it tomorrow. I know we ate at like 11. Yeah. She woke up and she goes, I never fixed you dinner. So she comes out here and actually barbecues a steak. Crazy woman. So anyway, so that was it. We fell out after that. And uh, uh, I built up until you know we started here like 10 minutes ago I come walking out Cali let's find a spot and say goodbye to everybody <laughs> no, oops. we gotta say a goodbye I know it yeah. what would you guys do if we didn't do our goodbye yeah if the video just suddenly ended you guys would be in shock going, yeah. what the heck happened anyway it's nice to come out here and, and see the, the lawn all done oh whoa that like rigged out the lighting here ah there we are we're back but uh, anyway, we thought we'd just come in, give you a quick, quick goodbye, let you, so you don't think we just dropped off the face of the earth. I couldn't end the video that way. No. But uh, weird. Today I, I haven't heard from him, but um, Giant Midget Moto, Josh Giant Midget Moto, is uh, way up northeast of here in Spokane, and uh, he was talking. I talked to him Friday night, I think it was, and he was looking at stopping by here as a cool off point because it's supposed to be a hundred plus today yeah it's gonna be hot. yeah it's it's like 80 out here now and it's what 10 yeah it's hot it's, it's gonna be a barn burner i told him i said uh it's not much relief from the heat coming here but i guess you're off the bike and off the freeway and in the shade someplace and, uh, now i was trying to dream. think last time he was up here i'm going wait a minute he hasn't been up here he, we met up but we didn't come to the house or he didn't come to the house so i need to text does him he know how to get here i i don't know it, it's not hard to figure out well i know but but i, I think i might have gave him my address once before anyway so but i need to text him and see how he's doing because uh that's dangerous being out there yeah it's really really hot yeah and where he's does he have a cool suit uh-uh oh dang uh well he didn't but uh anyway so he might be showing up today, so that may be a part of today's vlog. That'd be cool. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, put this at the at the end of the video and start this upload, and uh, it'll probably be one or so because my rendering's very very fast, and my upload is very very fast. It's YouTube that's very very slow. The processing time takes longer than rendering and uploading. And then after it says it's done processing, you got to wait another hour or so before it turns HD. And I won't turn them live until they're full resolution HD. And uh, even then, as you know, it reduces the quality of what you put up. But, man, you turn that thing loose too early, people going, Dude, for some reason, this one's all pixelated. That's not as clear as usual. So, well, turned it live too soon. <laughs> Oops. So my, there, I see smoke in there. They're, like, cooking something already. No, it's my fire because I was already out there burning stuff. Oh, is that coming across the roof this yeah. one? Yeah. Oh, mom's out there doing trash burning. Yep. <laughs> well, anyway, 
we're gonna we're gonna let y'all roll and, and he has to help me hang up my little rope lights so give him credit if he doesn't help me oh okay <laughs> so we'll we will that. talk to you guys tomorrow Same well today well yeah later today but you're gonna be watching it tomorrow okay <laughs> you're gonna get me all messed up just let me I, do my little steal. I know, sorry all right just teasing. thank you guys so much for watching um we appreciate it very very much we oh, yeah. will talk to you tomorrow, same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to like, try not to dislike, and hit that subscribe button. I love your little ritual. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, video-wise, we will talk to you guys tomorrow, even though I'm talking to you today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye now.